proceed from the top of the pole, the 46th story from the gateless gate, from the book Zen Flesh, Zen Bones, written by Paul Reps. Sekiso asked, how can you proceed on from the top of a hundred foot pole? Another Zen teacher said, one who sits on the top of a hundred foot pole has attained a certain height but still is not handling Zen freely. He should proceed on from there and appear with his whole body in the ten parts of the world. It, this story reminds me about another Zen master's story that after the twelfth year, the student complains to the master that I have been with you for twelve years and you have taught me nothing. You used and misused me. You made me to wash your utensils. You made me wash your clothes. You made me clean the whole ashram, the monastery. You made me make tea and coffee and food for the guests arriving morning till evening non-stop. Twelve years passed. And now I wanted to leave you because I think you are misusing me. The master said, when you first came, I gave you a small plant and you have planted it. Now that small plant in 12 years has become a huge big tree, taller than you. You wanted to go, never mind. But we will have the examination, a test for you before you leave. And the boy said, what test? You have not taught me anything. What is the test? He said, nothing. You leave today, no problem. And I wanted you to leave after 12 years. Today is the last. This is the plant which has become a huge big tree. I wanted you to climb the tree. The disciple climbs the tree and he turns back and asks, Master, and Master said, climb a little more taller, higher, little more higher. And he goes to the top of the tree and the top of the tree is very, 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 very thin. And if the wind comes, it starts blowing from left to right. The boy started shaking and he turned back and looked and asked the master, Master! And master said, Oh, you are now on the top of the tree. <laughs> yes. Then the disciple thought, Now we can come down faster. Master said, Now we'll leave both the legs. He said, What? He said, Leave both the legs and both the hands and climb one more step ahead. That was the cone given to many disciples to solve it. It is simple, I'll tell you, that he said, Once you reach a stage, don't cling on to the master or the father and mother's property or father and mother or the relatives. Leave both the legs and both the hands and take your own art, your own talent, which you have learned it, all these experiences from your father and mother, from the gurus, from your friend's circle. It is massive. But if you have not taken a step forward, you were unconscious. That unconscious state is your disease. And easiness got dislocated. It's called disease. And once that is dislocated, you will go to any Tom, Dick and Harry to solve it. Nobody can solve it unless you can solve it. You have to be conscious.